Hello and welcome to Educational Journey and in this video I will give you the information that how you can apply for professor scholarship in South Korea or Korea. Right? So I hope you have watched my last video in which I discussed all the different types of scholarships uh, and there are three major scholarships in South Korea. One is Global Korea Scholarship, the next one is University Scholarships and the third one and the most important one is professor scholarships so why this scholarship is important and why i'm emphasizing on this scholarship and i'm giving you all the details again and again because i will uh, actually i will give you the reason in the coming slides right because at the moment you may not understand this so all details will be provided in this video this video is going to be a little bit lengthy so uh, keep watching it until the end and then apply right so let's start with the process uh, why I am going for this uh, scholarship particularly because every year there are thousands of international students who get this scholarship in South Korea through the professor scholarships so uh, because I'm living here I know all the process there are lots of students from uh, especially from Asian countries also there are uh, some students from the European and American countries as well uh, so there are much more opportunities than the other types of scholarships um, one key factor about this scholarship is that uh, the uh, the major point here or the one and most important point here is your professor right the name as it, its name is professor scholarship so the major person involved in this scholarship is your professor who is going to be your professor right so i will give you details how uh, unfortunately this scholarship is only for masters and phd and i will also explain why and uh, i will also explain which departments or what majors specifically uh, so uh, keep watching <clears throat> uh, how professors can actually offer this scholarships why this scholarship is only msn for ms and phd uh, because in this scholarship majorly purpose is to uh, hire students to get research publications and uh, do the research projects for this uh, they have private or industrial projects and fundings these professors right because the professor is the main person here and they also get some government projects and fundings they are doing projects for the government institutions and for the private industries so for this they get the lots of fundings so how they can send, uh, spend this uh, money or these fundings uh, there are two major things uh, so for these major spendings uh, they have to arrange new equipment to their labs either they want to buy some equipment uh, so they can spend this money and the next thing is the hiring international students so for international students they get much more amount uh, at the master's student uh, or the master's level and the at the phd level so they hire the student for masters and phd because undergraduate students cannot do the uh, do these research uh, because the for the undergraduate they have a lot more uh, coursework than the masters or the phd uh, candidates here in south korea so they majorly hire masters and phd students sometimes they offer internships three month or six month internships uh, but most of the time they select the local korean students from the same university or same department so that is why this scholarship is not for the complete bachelor degree program or for the international uh, students next thing is what is included in these uh, scholarships which is the most important part because when you are going for uh, higher education or for studies uh, to any other country or you are going to ab going abroad then you should know that what are your um, uh, or what uh, what is included in your scholarship package right uh, either you have to manage something uh, extra than this scholarship or that will be enough or you can support your uh, family or uh, whatever right so i will give you details here uh, the major thing here is the monthly stipend and uh, that you will get every month uh, most of the time in the last uh, week of the month we get this uh, uh, monthly stipend uh, or every student get this monthly stipend in their account automatically it is transferred the next thing is health insurance this is mandatory for all international students 
so this is also covered in this scholarship amount uh, the third thing is tuition fee uh, that is also covered either by the university uh, like for international students some universities offer full tuition fee scholarship for international students that are recommended by the professor because i told you the professor is the main person or main authority here um, and for admission fees uh, they also provide uh, or most of the time the professors provide you the admission fees that is also um, sometime 500 dollars or more than this uh, and all lab facilities so you will get all the lab facilities that korean students are using you will use all these facilities within these facilities uh, the number one thing is your uh, uh, lab equipment if you are from any uh, any field that requires experimental equipment like chemistry materials chemical biotechnology or whatever um, and the other thing is your computer you have all the facilities like printer and uh, some refreshment coffee or whatever uh, the other korean student will use you will get this also uh, and uh, sometimes uh, the professor will take you for the lunch or dinner and etc uh, so these are the lab facilities and um, the major scholarship amounts now uh, the major thing in scholarship is your monthly stipend uh, how much you will get uh, most of the time for the ms the average amount is 800 dollar per month and for the phd it is 1000 dollar per month so this is average uh, you may get uh, less and you may get uh, much more than this right it depends on the available funding for that particular professor uh, this will cover your residence right room rent and your food and your traveling and whatever you want extra or more than this so you have to manage these things in this amount so either these amounts are enough or not that i will give you details in the coming slide but first uh, that for the ms uh, students uh, the scholarships sometimes starts from 600 dollar and it may go for up to the uh, 1000 and 1200 dollar as well but it, it there are uh, very less professors who provide you more than 1000 for the ms and for the phd i know that most of the time you will get 1000 uh, or more and there are just lots lots of students who are getting uh, 1400 dollar per month or even i know some students who are getting uh, 1600 dollar per month as well through the professor funding so it it totally depends on the professor and what is his criteria and what are the available resources to fund a student right uh, so monthly stipend is enough or not uh, for the international students uh, average expenditure or ex uh, expenses here in korea for international students or oh, i'm talking about a single student right uh, not the married or not the family uh 600 dollars uh, is my personal experience so in this you can cover your room rent and food and traveling the three basic thing in korea and extra you can cover uh, from uh, extra 200 dollars the the major part goes for the room rent because it is very expensive here the next part is your food that that is almost uh, $200 per month or maybe $250, not more than this. If you cook by yourself, if you want to eat outside, then then this is not enough. Uh, that may take you to $500 maybe because I don't have any experience of uh, uh, eating outside. And then the traveling, it depends on you on the weekends. If you want to travel, uh, how much you would want to travel, that depends totally on a student so if you share a room with friend or student then you can save much more for example if uh, a single student uh, want uh, or is living in a single room plus kitchen plus bath so uh, the rent is generally 300 dollar or 350 dollar and if you share this with uh, any other student uh, so or if you can share this room with uh, your friend then uh, you can consider this the half amount so you will save the next half or you can um, uh, uh, you can spend this money to any other purpose right uh, in the professor scholarship what are the advantages and disadvantages that we uh, must know before coming to korea uh, and uh, try to get some information about that professor his behavior and uh, his lab routine or, or overall his research uh, before coming to Korea or before joining any lab uh, so if you have any person you know in that particular university then you can ask him or or you can uh, search online or Google if some international students are there in, in the same lab or with the same 
uh, professor so they will give you the honest uh, uh, feedback so then you can decide that you should come or not or find any other uh, professor in the advantages uh, you can consider that unlimited number of scholarships there is no country quota any students can come and open all year so why this is open all year because you can apply and a professor will ask you to uh, submit your application for the admission in the coming cycle so it means it is open all year at least uh, twice in uh, in a year you can apply for the admission and before that the professor select the students a professor can select any number of scholars according to his projects and fundings or his uh, lab uh, so it depends on the professors some professors like to hire more international students some professors do not like to hire international students they feel comfortable with the, the Korean students and some some uh, professors try to mix it with the Korean or local students and with the international students so this all depends on the professor Disadvantages you can consider that this scholarship is only for masters and PhD so undergraduate student cannot apply the next thing is this to, uh, this scholarship is only limited for some field major fields or majors that is science engineering technology and pharmacy majors these are the basic uh, uh, technology or science fields uh, within science you can consider chemistry bio uh, mathematics and other uh, departments in engineering all engineering field in technology computer science and uh, other departments uh, biotechnology etc for messy major uh, so if you are from this field you can easily apply and you can get this scholarship very easily um, the next thing is that how you should apply or how you can apply actually for this professor scholarship uh, first thing is that because I told you uh, professor is the major authority here in this uh, scholarship so you have to write an email to professor to inquire any position or funding available for international student in his lab so how you can write an email i have two detailed videos as well on my youtube channel so after this video you can watch those and here i give you the short um, um, or short, short introduction to the writing an email to professor this email should be short and brief not more than uh, 10 to 12 lines in a normal email, email body and three major parts of this email what are these three parts first one is introduction that will take two to three lines you are introducing yourself who you are and what you have done now and then the connection part uh, connection part is like you will explain your background your related skills and then your research interest so this is the connection part this will uh, this will be a lengthy part maybe eight lines or seven lines and then the next uh, third part will be uh, uh, will be the interest in his or her research so you will connect in the second part that you are interested to this field this field then in the third part you will let him know that you are working in this i have uh, went through uh, your i have gone through your uh, website or i checked your research areas on your portal and uh, you are working in this area so i'm interested to work under your supervision then you can write one line that you are sending your uh, cv and uh, or, or documents and ask him for possible position in his lab what documents you will attach with this email this is totally optional but one thing is must that you should send your cv first in the first email cv is a must without cv no one will reply you second thing is final degree if you have uh, final degree or transcript or result card then you should send it to the professor as well so that he can uh, he can get the information that what you have done actually the third part is ice uh, if you have ice results then this will definitely increase your chances and you must uh, send the ice result to the professor with this first email so with your first uh, email you will uh, send cv that is must then you can send final degree or transcript or result card that is optional and ielts score is optional but uh, ielts if you have then uh, send it with your first email because this will uh, create a good impact uh, to the professor or you can really impress the professor because they really like students with the ielts score because uh, they can get extra fundings from the university to uh, to fund his tuition fees or uh, the, the university can provide the tuition free admission 
what next after sending email what you will do uh, you will wait for the reply right and you will keep sending emails to professor related to your field right you should not only send one email and wait you will send email send email and send email to related professors in case of a uh, positive reply so you will wait for a positive reply from the professor uh, he will ask you for interview most of the time they ask for interview online interview through the skype zoom or google meet and they uh, if you are selected or your interview results are positive they will uh, explain or discuss the scholarship amount and details and admission process with you or they will ask any of his or her student uh, to uh, to discuss this with you and so after this uh, if for example you are uh, selected for this scholarship then professor will ask you to apply for the admission in the coming application uh, uh, process or uh, application window when the universe uh, regular admission start you will apply uh, with his name as a supervisor and uh, and most of the time you get admission uh, the major thing you have to do here is that prepare all the documents according to university requirements like attestation is required or not what degrees you need to uh, uh, submit or how you need to submit the documents sometimes it is online process for some universities it is online plus uh, hard form or print uh, copies you submit or sometimes they only ask for the printed application or uh, documents uh, so th this all depends on the university you want to apply or, or the professor that that is accepting you uh, this is a continuous process so you should not only uh, send one or two email and then wait for a long time if you are not getting reply from a, a professor uh, in in two weeks then you can send an uh, a reminder to the same professor and you should uh, keep searching professors from other universities because there are more than 100 universities and all universities and all professors can provide uh, scholarships if they have fundings then you can uh, you should send emails to the related professor after after shortlisting and searching these professor then you should wait for reply if you are not getting a reply if within two weeks then you should you should send an uh, a reminder and again after reminder if you are not getting reply it means he professor is not interested or he is retired or he do not want to uh, hire any student and then uh, if you get the positive reply, they will ask you for interview and give you confirmation or uh, will reject you. They will inform you the result of your interview. So this is a continuous process. Search, send email, wait for reply. And if you get the reply, interview and confirmation and apply for the admission. So this is uh, all about the professor scholarships in South Korea. I hope this video will help you to understand the process. If this video was helpful for you, please like it and share it on uh, Facebook and other uh, social media platforms. Uh, you can follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, if you have any questions, you can write in the comment box and I will answer your questions in the coming videos. Thank you so much. Keep watching us for the more exciting opportunities. Bye-bye.